OK, Year 9, your home learning for this week is going to start off with some cities revision because the second lesson of your um, geography work this week is going to be your cities assessment. And today's learning journey is designed to help you best prepare for that assessment that's coming up. So the first thing that we're going to look at is recapping how we describe the pattern that is shown within a graph or a chart, so using GCSE. Then we're going to revise um, lots of cities concepts and examples because um, there was quite a lot of new information in that topic. And then finally, you are going to practice decoding and planning a nine mark question. So that's just a little reminder about um, how best to answer a question that is nine marks. OK, so you can see we've got three pie charts here which are showing us the different um, job sectors that make up the economy of three different countries. We've got the US, Brazil and Nepal. OK, and the question says, describe the pattern of job sectors in the three countries shown. And you hopefully know by now that every time you're asked to describe the pattern within a figure, like a pie chart or a bar chart or a line graph, you always use GCSE to help you structure your answer. So the G is for general trend. And generally, looking at these pie charts, you need to be thinking about which sector on the whole seems to be the largest for the majority of the countries that you can see. So which one is the biggest? Your C is for closer in. So then you need to look closer and choose an example that backs up, that proves what you've just said for your general trend. OK, so um, you might, for example, look at the USA and say that their biggest sector um, is tertiary with 75% of jobs. Your S is for specifically, and this is where you need to use specific data from your figure in your answer. And what looks even better than just using the data that you've been given is actually manipulating it. And by that, we mean doing a calculation to show that you understand what these numbers and this information is saying. So for example, you might say there, um, that for the USA, their biggest sector is 52% larger than their next biggest sector. OK, that's the difference between their tertiary and their secondary sector. And finally, the E is for the exception. So what doesn't fit the pattern? So, for example, if your general trend was that the largest sector seems to be tertiary jobs. Is there a country shown in these pie charts where actually the largest sector is something different? OK. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and complete this first task. OK, there is a Word document on class charts with some extra top tips and sentence starters to help you. And we want you to answer this practice question. If you can't remember what it is, it's uh, to describe the pattern. OK, describe the pattern shown within the pie charts. And then you're going to take a picture to um, show us your answer. Your second activity for this lesson is to revise the key concepts and examples that you were taught as part of this city's scheme of work. OK, and you can see on the slide um, that you've got a couple of examples there of p potentially new content that um, you perhaps didn't learn before you started this topic. Now, your task to help you do this, to help you revise all of this information, is you are going to create your own set of question and answer flashcards okay and then the idea is that you can then use these flashcards throughout the week before your assessment lesson to help you revise all of these words and examples and facts and figures and so on okay so you will see on the help sheet on the word document that's on class charts that there is a template which has given you the questions that you need to answer okay what you have got to do is to use that template and also um, the knowledge card to write questions on one side and the answers on the other side of your flashcards. OK, so as an example. You might write on one side um, the question, for example, what is gentrification? And then on the other side of that same flashcard, you need to provide the answer. So for what is gentrification, you could write down it is the social or economic changes within a declining neighbourhood caused by wealthier residents moving into the area. OK, I think there are 10 
questions, so 10 flashcards that you need to make. And we would like you to take a picture of those when they've um, been created and upload that to class charts too. And remember, the whole point of this activity is firstly to kind of jog your memory about um, these different concepts from this topic, but then for you to have a resource that you can use yourself to help you um, revise this again and again and again before your assessment. Your final lesson activity uh, for today's geography lesson is decoding and planning a nine mark question. I've put an example of a nine mark question on the slide. This one says local enterprise zones are the most effective strategy to encourage reurbanization. Evaluate this statement and then it gives you the amount of marks, which is nine plus three for spelling, punctuation and grammar. First thing that I would like you to do on your whiteboards is decode this exam question. And what we mean by that is, can you try and put this exam question into your own words? So I want you to particularly focus on uh, the words that are going to be highlighted in red. So think about what does local enterprise zone actually mean? What are they? What does most effective strategy mean? How could you put that into easier words? What does the term reurbanization mean? Because if you don't know that, then you can't effectively answer this question. So what does reurbanization mean? And what does the command word evaluate require you to do? So what have you got to do if you are evaluating? I'm going to get you to pause the video now and give yourself a minute, 90 seconds to have a go at that. Now, I'm hoping that your answer looks something like this. Uh, creating areas which give businesses special benefits, that is, that's just telling you what a local enterprise zone is, okay? A, a local enterprise zone is an area where if businesses move into it, they get special benefits like cheaper tax rates, access to better infrastructure, and so on. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. Uh, these areas are the best way to get more people to move back into the city centre. That second part is just telling you what reurbanisation means. Reurbanisation is people moving back from elsewhere around the city or the countryside, moving back into the city centre. And then the last sentence, weigh up the evidence and decide if this is true. That's just explaining what you've got to do when it asks you to evaluate. If you are evaluating, you've got to weigh up the evidence that you have, the knowledge that you have, and make a decision, come to a decision. Now, if you are answering a nine mark question, hopefully, again, by now, you know that we are looking for two pedal paragraphs, each with a however sentence, and a conclusion at the end. Obviously, in your first pedal paragraph, you need to talk about what the question is directly asking you about. So your first pedal paragraph should focus on local enterprise zones. And the whole point of your paragraph is explaining why they are going to help reurbanisation to happen. Why are local enterprise zones going to help to encourage people to move back to the city centre? For your second pedal paragraph, you then need to choose a different strategy that we taught you about that was also to encourage reurbanization. So for example, you could talk about regeneration and the example you could use to back that up is what happened with the London Docklands. So your second pedal needs to be about how a different strategy also encourages people to move back to the city centre. You can use the example that we've given you there of the London Docklands and regeneration, or you can use something from your own knowledge. And finally, for your conclusion, uh, you need to link it back to the question, so you need to be weighing up the evidence and deciding if it's true that local enterprise zones are the best strategy. So in your conclusion, we are looking for a decision and a reason why you've reached that decision. The second part of this task then is to create the same headings that you can see uh, in the three boxes on the slide on your whiteboard and to note down what you would discuss in each paragraph. So we're not asking you to answer the question, but we're asking you to create a plan. So what facts and figures could you use? What examples could you talk about? What could you mention for your however sentence when you're trying to criticise your point, when you're trying to think of a different opinion to give? 
Uh, you've got information on the help sheet and also on the knowledge card to help you complete this task. And once you've got your plan, again, you're going to take a photo of that and you're going to upload it to Class Charts. So thank you very much for listening, Year 9. Um, this is just a quick reminder of what we're expecting you to upload for this lesson. So we want to see a picture or a screenshot of your pie chart exam question answer. We want to see a picture of the flashcards that you've made. And we also hope that you're going to use those uh, as part of your revision for your assessment. So get someone to test you or test yourself using those flashcards. And we're also looking for a picture of your whiteboard, which shows your nine marker plan. So it shows your decoding of the question at the top, and then it shows those three paragraphs and some ideas about what you might um, write in each of those paragraphs. Well done for participating in your home learning, and we're really looking forward to seeing and marking your work.